Hi, I'm Dan Hernandez. I'd like to welcome you to this week's episode of Sport Fishing. But today we're back aboard the Eclipse. We're fishing around the tuna pins and we got tuna hooked up. And that's what this week's episode, we'll be fishing out here, day and a half trip, looking for bluefin tuna, maybe a Dorado too, you never know what to expect. So stay tuned for this week's exciting episode of Sport Fishing. Welcome to Sport Fishing with Dan Hernandez. H&M Landing has been providing fishing trips for anglers for over 40 years. It doesn't matter what you want to fish for. San Diego's H&M Landing has a trip just for you. If it's rockfish you want or going offshore for tuna, you can do it all here at H&M Landing. H&M Landing is home to the finest fleet of sport fishing boats on the coast. Don't be left behind. Call and make a reservation to go fishing out of H&M Landing today. Kershaw Pro Grade Series knives are the best knives for filleting fish on the market. Kershaw's Pro Grade Specialty Fish and Game Knives were created so that sportsmen would always have the right knife for the job. They currently come in 10 different styles, from large knives for breaking down the largest of fish to herring knives for cutting bait. All blades are made with quality stainless steel with just the right amount of flex to make filleting easier. Real sporting knives made by a real sporting goods company. Pick up some Kershaw knives today. FE Trailers in Lakeside is world famous for their entire lineup of custom built trailers. Just about anything you can think of that needs to be towed down the road, FE Trailers has you covered. They build galvanized, custom painted aluminum or powder coated trailers to your special ordered specs. They can even fix up that raggedy old trailer you're dragging around now. Check out FETrailers.com or stop into their Lakeside location at Woodside Avenue. That's FE Trailers in Lakeside, San Diego's number one custom trailer manufacturer. Brad here hooked up on a nice bluefin. <laughs> We're out here fishing at the pins. Fishing a 25 pound line? Yes, 25. 25 pound line, 25 pound floral. Hooked up on a nice bluefin. Working it nice and easy. He's almost straight up and down here. Once you get it straight up and down, all you want to do is lift up nice and easy to about 10 o'clock. Right about here. That's it. And then wind down. Drop the rod and turn the handle. Point it out and keep the fish's head pointed up, and then once you do that, it'll corkscrew right up for you. You're doing good, not so high. Right about here. Right about here. Right there. Done. Perfect. Yeah. Oh, here we go. 
Oh, you got it. Up of the day, we already got a bunch of fish on the boat. Fishing 25 pound test fluorocarbon and 30 pound test mainline, and just working this fish. He hasn't made a real big run yet, and even my dad's on right now. Today in the Tackle Box, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about what we're doing today. Fishing offshore, looking for tuna, We've got lots of bluefin in the water. And when you're fishing for bluefin, you have to pay attention to the tackle you're using. These are mean fish. You have to have a good tackle all the time. Make sure the line on your reel is fresh. And if you're using fluorocarbon, you know how to tie those knots, the combined knots together. Very important. If you're going to, you know, you want to practice tying those knots at home. And if they break on you, you want them to break at home where you're practice tying. You don't want to be doing that on the boat when all the action's going on. Now, as far as baits and hooks and all that, when you're using live bait for bluefin tuna, you need to have a selection of hooks. I would have something maybe as small as a size one or size two, if all you have are small anchovies for bait. But you also want to have some four O's and six O's, just in case you get those bigger mackerel or big sardines. You start getting those bigger tuna, you get fish over 40 pounds, 50 pounds, and lots of times for the end of the year, we'll get those 60, 80 pounders. A 6-0 hook isn't going to be that big. If you don't have one with you, you're going to wish you had one. Those bigger tuna have no problem eating a big sardine, big mackerel, and you have to have hooks to pin those on. If you try putting up like a size 1 hook on a big mackerel, it's not going to work. You're not going to be able to drive that hook into the fish. So you have to carry you know, different size hooks with you at all times. And then another thing I like to use is the metal jig. You might want to slide up to the bow of the boat. As the boat drifts, the bow is a great place because all the bait that the crew's chumming is going to go from the back of the boat, slide underneath the boat into the bow. Lots of times we see lots of tuna jumping up there. Great place to throw a jig, something like this, magic metal jig. And you don't have to worry if you catch a small bluefin or a large bluefin. These all have welded rings. So you might think you're going to get a 20 pound bluefin, but you hook an 80 or 100 pounder. No worry, that split ring here, there is no split ring on these lures. These are all welded rings. It's not going to pop open on you. Well, let's get back on the water and show you more exciting action right here on Sport Fishing. Yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There we go, nice. good job. One more lap, one more lap. Don't more that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! 
The Dan Hernandez Youth Foundation is a 501c3 nonprofit foundation. We take kids fishing. We use fishing as a tool to help build kids' self-esteem and self-confidence. We provide half-day saltwater fishing trips for kids that wouldn't get the opportunity, and we also host large fishing events in inner city lakes. For more information, please visit our website at www.danskids.org. Please help us make a difference in these kids' lives. H&M Landing has been providing fishing trips for anglers for over 40 years. It doesn't matter what you want to fish for. San Diego's H&M Landing has a trip just for you. If it's rockfish you want or going offshore for tuna, you can do it all here at H&M Landing. H&M Landing is home to the finest fleet of sport fishing boats on the coast. Don't be left behind. Call and make a reservation to go fishing out of H&M Landing today. Kershaw Pro Grade Series knives are the best knives for filleting fish on the market. Kershaw's Pro Grade Specialty Fish and Game Knives were created so that sportsmen would always have the right knife for the job. They currently come in 10 different styles, from large knives for breaking down the largest of fish to herring knives for cutting bait. All blades are made with quality stainless steel with just the right amount of flex to make filleting easier. Real sporting knives made by a real sporting goods company. Pick up some Kershaw knives today. Dorado. Nice Dorado here. Yeah. How are we doing up here? Good. You fishing 30? Yeah, with uh, 25 pound. Floral? Yeah, very nice, very nice. With the weight. How big, how, how big a weight? Uh, not as big as that other guy's weight. Half ounce, three quarter? Yeah, I think it's half. Ah. A little bit deeper. No, easy, 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 easy. You're good. All right, we're out here fishing at the pins. We are currently about 60 to 65 miles south of San Diego. Out here fishing these pens, that what happens is these uh, Mexican fishermen come out with the saners, wrap big schools of bluefin, put them inside these pens that you see out here, and they, what they do is they fatten them up. And then when they get to a certain fat content, they come out and they check one of the fish, and they sell that school of fish to Japan for lots and lots of money. And at the same time, they're feeding these fish it's creating a big slick in the water, and that's what these bluefin are keying in on. That's why we fish close to these pins. And when they're fishing, when they're swimming around, feeding on that fish, we come in, throw some bait, and then they come to the school and they stick with us for a little bit. Yeah, baby, another one on the reel. Fisher on the chew. That's why I come to California to Here at the Georges Bank, we consider this a little one. I'm a 
chopstick, baby. <laughs> What's the jig? Nice bluefin here on the mega bait. Not a lot of you guys fish iron, but I tell you, it works. This is my dad, he's on his second tuna of the day, he's doing good, just slowly pulling on it. We're still picking away at the fish here at the pen, and quite a few tuna we already got on the boat. It's a lot of fun out here, this is typical, you know, late summer action. You get out to the pen area, you lick in the patties, and this year it's been exceptional on the bluefin, nice big bluefin, and that's what my dad's got going here. Okay, we're going to take a little break from the action, when we return, We'll be back here aboard the Eclipse. My dad will be fighting this fish. We got three or four others going. It's just gonna be an awesome episode here today aboard the Eclipse. This week in the galley, we're back at Osprey Cafe in Cerritos, California, and we're back with Robin again, one of the owners and a cook here. And Robin, what do you have for us today? Today we have some super yummy uh, fresh halibut kebabs. Cool. We have a little veggies on here, red onion, um, red uh, pepper, and for some sweetness, some pineapple. Put that right on the grill. Add a little salt and pepper. I like kebabs because lots of times I have leftover pieces of fish so I'll just mix different species, but this looks super delicious with halibut. That looks really good, Robin. Put it right here on the smotty rice. And there we go. That looks great. Well, I have to try this. And this is halibut, kebab style. And you really didn't add a lot of spices or anything to it, real simple. Very simple. I like that the fish just kind of flakes off. Mmm. That is really good. Okay. Well, thank you, Robin, for having us back. Anytime, Dan. Well, let's get back on the water and show you more exciting action right here on Sport Fishing. My dad got a little tired, so I'm going to pull on this fish for a little bit for him. I didn't hook it. My dad hooked this fish. And, uh, he went to go grab a camera and take a little break. He'll be right back. But we got we got more fresh ones going here. Just awesome fish in here. Oh, nice boil. Fish breaking all around the boat. Dorado are also known as mahi-mahi over in the Hawaiian Islands. On the east coast they're called dolphin fish. They can be found throughout the tropics 
and in the subtropics. They're one of the fastest growing fish and Dorado usually live no more than five years. They've been recorded at speeds of around 50 knots. They're very aggressive feeders, the crab, shrimps, mackerels, anchovies, and other small bait fish. The Dan Hernandez Youth Foundation is a 501c3 nonprofit foundation. We take kids fishing. We use fishing as a tool to help build kids' self-esteem and self-confidence. We provide half-day saltwater fishing trips for kids that wouldn't get the opportunity, and we also host large fishing events in inner city lakes. For more information, please visit our website at www.danskids.org. Please help us make a difference in these kids' lives. H&M Landing has been providing fishing trips for anglers for over 40 years. It doesn't matter what you want to fish for. San Diego's H&M Landing has a trip just for you. If it's rockfish you want or going offshore for tuna, you can do it all here at H&M Landing. H&M Landing is home to the finest fleet of sport fishing boats on the coast. Don't be left behind. Call and make a reservation to go fishing out of H&M Landing today. Kershaw Pro Grade Series knives are the best knives for filleting fish on the market. Kershaw's Pro Grade Specialty Fish and Game Knives were created so that sportsmen would always have the right knife for the job. They currently come in 10 different styles, from large knives for breaking down the largest of fish to herring knives for cutting bait. All blades are made with quality stainless steel with just the right amount of flex to make filleting easier. Real sporting knives made by a real sporting goods company. Pick up some Kershaw knives today. Skipper just made a stop on a cow patty. It's wide open yellowtail fishing. I just got two right now. And it's just solid. We probably got about 20 on the boat already. Got about 15 of them hooked up right now. Total chaos. Here we go, here we go. You got your hook? What number, sir? 11. Real close to the camera, it's real big. It's at least 30 pounds. <laughs> Two for one, bit right next to each other. Old man rules. Right in the old beak. Another nice bluefin. Oh, yeah. Yeah, baby. My dad's still fighting this fish. It's been on it for a little while. We got another tuna here, too. Deep color. There you go. Nice and easy. You're doing good. Yeah, there's deep color. He's circling now. There you go. Just lift up easy. Wind down. Oh, there you go. Just like that. Nice and easy. Just let it run when it wants to run. There you go. One more time, one more time. Nice and easy. One more time. Here he comes. One more time. One more. Right there. Yeah. 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 Oh, oh my God. Look at that horse. Oh, yeah. Freedom. Yeah. Oh, we Here we go. Yellowtail can be found in a wide range, as far north as British Columbia and down south into Chile. We usually find good numbers of them from Point Conception 
down into the Baja waters. They can grow up to 100 pounds, and then they feed on a variety of bait fish, including sardines, mackerel, and even like squids and shrimps too. They're one of the most popular game fish in all of California. Kershaw Pro Grade Series knives are the best knives for filleting fish on the market. Kershaw's Pro Grade Specialty Fish and Game Knives were created so that sportsmen would always have the right knife for the job. They currently come in 10 different styles, from large knives for breaking down the largest of fish to herring knives for cutting bait. All blades are made with quality stainless steel with just the right amount of flex to make filleting easier. Real sporting knives made by a real sporting goods company. Pick up some Kershaw knives today. FE Trailers in Lakeside is world famous for their entire lineup of custom built trailers. Just about anything you can think of that needs to be towed down the road, FE Trailers has you covered. They build galvanized, custom painted aluminum or powder coated trailers to your special ordered specs. They can even fix up that raggedy old trailer you're dragging around now. Check out FETrailers.com or stop into their Lakeside location at Woodside Avenue. That's FE Trailers in Lakeside, San Diego's number one custom trailer manufacturer. H&M Landing has been providing fishing trips for anglers for over 40 years. It doesn't matter what you want to fish for. San Diego's H&M Landing has a trip just for you. If it's rockfish you want or going offshore for tuna, you can do it all here at H&M Landing. H&M Landing is home to the finest fleet of sport fishing boats on the coast. Don't be left behind. Call and make a reservation to go fishing out of H&M Landing today. These are the tuna we just got right now. We still got about an hour left of fishing, which is awesome. The quality of the tuna today on the clips, crew's done a great job. Anglers are doing a good job. This is my dad's largest tuna he ever caught. First time coming on a tuna trip out of San Diego. He's caught smaller tuna before, uh, fishing down the East Cape in Baja, but first time coming on a San Diego boat, and he had a great time here on the clips. And was this your first big tuna too, sir? This is my first tuna. First Very big good. tuna, nice job. Good job. Nice job. Excellent, Excellent job. job. Well, I'm Dan Hernandez. I'd like to first off thank the whole crew of the Eclipse for hosting us today. Whole crew did a great job, helped all the anglers with the, the, the fish. Skipper did a great job, the cook, William. Everybody's just awesome. You know, we've been coming on this boat for a few years, and this is one of the nicest trips we've ever had. This quality bluefin. We got some Dorado, some yellowtail, but the bluefin were top notch. Well, I'm Dan Hernandez, hoping you enjoyed this week's episode of Sport Fishing, and I hope you join us again next week as we go looking for more of the best in sport fishing. Nice fish, Woo,